always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Okay, a few showers have developed, especially over the past hour or so. You can see right now on the area cameras, not a whole lot to see, but there are some showers out there. Storm Track Live Radar shows a few spotty showers up around the Wago area, just south of Hastings, heading towards Battle Creek, more over Lake Michigan. So we'll have that chance throughout the night. We'll first head to the south, just south of Hastings right now, uh, right down over the Battle Creek location. Uh, and you can see heading towards Marshall at the present time. You can see spotty showers up towards uh, Nuego, White Cloud, and also up the Woodland and Bightley area. Uh, temperatures right now at 59 degrees in Grand Rapids, a little bit cooler to the north and east where skies have been, uh, well, at least the clouds have been a little bit thinner. Now areas west and south still holding on to temperatures in the 60s. No question, it's going to be a milder night than the 40s we woke up to earlier this morning. We'll likely see lows right around the mid 50s and we'll see temperatures likely warmer tomorrow also with highs expected in the 70s. Right now that wind is out of the southeast where it is actually moving. It's calm right now currently in Kalamazoo and Lansing. It's going to turn out of the south tomorrow and southwest and it's going to tap this warmth that's uh, quite prevalent in the central plains and that warmth is going to be with us over the next several days. Here's that leading edge of that, the warm front off to the west of us and that's producing some of those showers and isolated uh, and mostly isolated at the present time and these will continue moving in tonight. Now this is kind of a snapshot of tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, potential of some showers still out there. But as we progress through the latter parts of the day, we should see some clearing out there with some sunshine and warmer temperatures in the 70s. So I feel quite comfortable. And as we head into Thursday, this forecast model kind of develops some showers out there, especially in the northern portion of the state and Grand Rapids northward. I think it's a little overdone. I think the better chance would be west of us in Wisconsin and also Illinois. We could use the rain out there. Uh, we're running a deficit around two inches in Grand Rapids, inch and a half in Kalamazoo, and close to two inches in both Holland and Muskegon. We're not going to get that much, certainly. Not a lot really heading our way with the scattered showers out there. Most locations coming in around a tenth, maybe two tenths of an inch, and that's through uh, tomorrow. After that, though, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, look at that. High temperatures up around 80 degrees, and even uh, the slightly cooler temperatures into the latter parts of the weekend. Forecast models are starting to come in a little drier next week, so we may have to tweak that just a little bit. But this warmth may continue even into early October. This is the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook that goes all the way into October 3rd. All right, Matt, thank you.